Hey folks, welcome back to the channel and another Today in Tarkov, or TIT, as the guys in the comments section like to refer to it as so lovingly. We got a bunch of news today to get to, get you guys up to speed on what's going on. Point you to a couple other videos for more detail that I already did, so I'm not just rehashing stuff. Uh, but a lot of news that came out today to get you up to speed. So let's not waste any more time and get right into it. So first things first, uh, we obviously had the wipe and patch 14. There's a whole nother video for that. You can watch for my patch notes uh, review of that. I won't bog this video down with that. And the same thing with Arena. Last night, we got a huge patch for Arena. Um, bunch of patch notes. I did another video for that. You can go check that out as well. So there's enough telling you guys to go watch a different video in this one. Let's talk about what we have here. Uh, we got a technical patch on Tarkov last night. Um, you'll have to update if you didn't, but the, the fixes they gave us were first, they incorrect, fix the incorrect model behavior of players who lost connection to the server while riding in the BTR. Small issue, saw it once, but potentially got worse. Um, good thing they fixed it because it made a lot of problems. Uh, fix the incorrect rounding of armor plate and integrated armor durability points on the item inspector. It would tell you some wrong information, make you make some bad decisions, so that got fixed. Uh, the big one here is they fixed the incorrect cam camera behavior while aiming in a leaning position. This is a big, I noticed this. I thought it was just something they changed. I didn't know it was a bug. Um, I noticed ADSing and leaning looked really weird uh, with camera positioning, so they got that fixed. I um, mean, it had to do with the left and right switching too. Um, so they also fixed the incorrect animation of soldier transition while aiming and fixed an issue that in some cases caused the player to be teleported back while vaulting. Ran into that a little bit. It was really annoying. It's good that they fixed it. Uh, fixed the inability to close the in-raid armor modding window in some cases. I didn't have this. I watched somebody else. It sucked because you had that little window stuck there the whole time. Um, and fixed the inability to complete subtasks for some quests. Now, there, this is a double-edged sword. Um, keep that in mind. This isn't always good. I had it um, doing the one of the new quests where you got to go to the scientist on ground zero, and then you got to get the key and go to his office and then get the hard drive. It wasn't checking the box for going into the office. Uh, you'd have to go back and do it a second time. It happened to me and Tower both. Um, that is fixed. I've seen somebody do it correctly now, but I am seeing people that have progress quests everywhere, elsewhere, get them reset and say incomplete. Um, so if you have that, make sure you do a bug report if you can. Um, I can't right now. My bug report thing is bugged, but maybe during in the Discord or something. And show that you're, let BSG know that your quest can't progress it or it got reset or whatever happened because I've seen people commenting, DMing me and stuff now that um, some of their quests are screwed up after this patch, not related to the first issue. So um, keep that in mind that that might be a problem. So the Christmas gift, let's talk about that real quick. S straightforward, if you can sign into your profile on escapefromtarkov.com, it's real simple. You just go to your profile and you click on this little thumb tack thingy and the gift is successfully activated. Once you do that, you go into your game and it's gonna show up as a system message. You click get and this is it right here. So you're gonna get your VSK 94, um, unsuppressed it looks like, even though it's suppressed in the, uh, the game. Um, so that's weird. This is one of the new backpacks uh, for uh, this patch. Interesting stuff, different loaded looking, haven't seen anything like that, but it's there. Uh, SP5, some ornaments, helmets, things like that. So that's what you get for the Christmas gift. Now I'm only gonna do this, like, I don't know who cares and who doesn't. I'm only gonna bring it up because I'm gonna get asked a bazillion times. The ETS tester, yes, I get this because I'm in the ETS and I do active bug testing and stuff like that. Some people get it, some people don't. I don't know why. Um, I'm gonna get asked a bazillion times because I'll claim it right now. I haven't done it yet. It'll show up in here. I'm gonna get asked a bazillion times now. How in the hell do I have a weapons case already? Um, and I'm only like level 10. That's how is the ETS. So just, so we got that out of the way because I know a lot of people were gonna ask about that. Now for drops, they've officially announced drops. We have all the information now. We had some hints and stuff, but all the all the infers out there now. Um, there's this post. You can look at it. Uh, BSG does this every year with Christmas time. Um, I'll throw the link to this site so you guys can go look at it yourself because it's got a calendar and a bunch of events. Each day they're gonna have events. They got the, the New Year podcast and then um, Jeopardy. They, they, they've done this the last couple of years. It's kind of cool. They bring streamers in. They do all sorts of different stuff uh, to um, talk through uh, the things in the game and just, if you're interested, great, if not, whatever. But drops will start on the 29th. They start uh, 11 in the morning, 11, G 11, 11 a.m. GMT, which is 6 a.m. EST. Uh, first thing in the morning, and they will go all day for the 29th for everybody who is streaming in the Escape from Tarkov category. Then after that, each day, 
has selected streamers picked. So for me, I'm gonna be the, I'm on the 30th um, in the morning, uh, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, East Coast time, which is 4 a.m. for me. Uh, shit, I didn't realize that. That's gonna be an early morning. And then I think I'm also on January 2nd. Yep, right there, January 2nd. Uh, so same deal, 6 a.m., 6, or 6 p.m. Uh, Eastern time. Um, the way this usually goes, for those that aren't aware, streamers will bounce from one to another. You'll go hang out, you watch a streamer, show them support. If you go AFK and you're still collecting your drops, they will uh, raid another streamer that is getting drops. So essentially you can go all week and get all your drops without having to really worry about babysitting your stream, depending on how you do it. Um, and then on the seventh, everybody, everybody will have drops again, um, all channels. So that's kind of how it goes. The drops are gonna be random items. I wouldn't expect anything crazy till towards the end. Um, you're gonna get food and some barter items and things like that, uh, but stuff that'll help you along in the game and it's free and all you gotta do is watch. There are some utilities out there, plugins that'll uh, collect your drops for you automatically. I think they sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. I'm not gonna get into specifics because I don't wanna tell you guys to go use one and it doesn't work or it's got malware in it or something. So I'm not gonna do that. If you're interested, go check it out, figure out what your friends are using. Um, they, they do exist out there for collecting your drops though. One quick thing, um, make sure that when you are doing your drops that you link your Twitch account. You do that the same place we talked about here for your Christmas gift, right here. Hopefully I don't dox myself if I do the editors, you're gonna have to fix it, but you click li link Twitch account and that's it. It linked my Twitch account. So now I get drops. I have to change mine constantly because of tournaments and stuff. You guys don't have to do that. If you've done this in the past, it should be good. Um, it's, it'll say Twitch account is linked if, uh, if it is. So that is drops. Beyond that, I want to share a video of a buddy um, that does, he, this is one of the few guys out there that I will let tweak with my system. Um, Shrizzle does fantastic videos. I'll throw the link down below in the description. Um, he did a video for uh, Windows and Tarkov settings. It's not just your Tarkov settings, it's Windows settings, which in many cases are far more important than anything you do in game with how you get Tarkov running well. Um, he works with Stints, works for Stints, uh, Stints built, who also built my PC, just for 100% uh, transparency, I guess. Um, but I'm not chilling this guy because I'm getting paid. Uh, it's He has great insights on how all of the stuff interacts and he tests everything. So if you want to go check out his video, it is great. After that, just a couple of quick notes, things you might not have seen. BSG gave us some screenshots of the new weapon modification system. Now I don't have this yet. I have a level one workbench and this doesn't show up. This here is at least a level two, but maybe a level three workbench. It's hard to tell. Um, I will push towards this. We'll try to get it uh, and see what uh, this system is, but it looks pretty cool with how to modify. Um, it's more live action rather than just a, a UI clicking and dragging for weapon modding. Um, so that is uh, pretty cool. And then the last bit is a bunch of statistics. And again, I'll share the links for these so you can go. BSG threw in a ton of statistics for last wipe. Um, things specific to the Halloween event, how many total exfils there were in the game, you know, there was a 60%, 40% bear in USEC, which is kind of new. Um, we've seen this around 30, 33% bear to USEC, and it's pushing more 60, 40, which is good uh, for a lot of the tasks out there. There's more bears to kill and more bear dog tags to collect, which I like. But then other stuff about the Halloween event, some of the other events, the most popular ammos. I don't think anyone is surprised that 856A1 and 855A1 are at the top of this list. Uh, PST GZH is just a volume thing because everybody uses it all the time um, and it, you spray a lot of it. Uh, C and B, uh, 545 by 39 BP high up here um, is not surprising to me because it's such a good ammo. Uh, the, no, I don't see anything, nothing in here surprises me that I'm looking at other than maybe the um, LPS GZH, but that could just be a product of the PKP, PKM being in the game and people just shooting lots of that ammo. Um, that for sure could be part of it. Uh, then most popular weapons, which is gonna fit right in line with what you saw with the ammo uh, for um, PMCs and what they used. Uh, most popular equipment, you got helmets, things like that. This is mostly driven by lower level players. Uh, what you're going to see them running um, and what they have available to them. And then they put it all into one big graphic if you want that. So that is all there and available. But that's it for today. As more news comes in, we'll get more of these out for you guys. As always, thank you for watching. Quick shout out for my music. For those that don't know, I have my own music. I make it with Low Ray Records. Um, some people freak out about that. I don't actually make it. 
I'm as musically inclined as a wet rock. I help Low Wave Record make music for me. But I'm an owner, I can give rights to it, which is important because that means if you're a content creator, you can use it in your, your uh, videos or your Twitch streams and not have to worry about copyright strikes or DMCA takedowns. Um, it is free, it's on Spotify, that's where it helps us out the most, but you can, it's, it's on all the platforms, you can listen to it anywhere. Uh, so check it out, let me know what music you like the best and appreciate you guys supporting it in whatever way you can. Um, we'll wrap her up there. Thank you guys again for watching. I say I say that too much, but I really am thankful. Uh, I wish you the best of luck in your raids. Good luck in the new patch. We'll see you in Tarkov.